American Nativity Data, what remains of York Memorial Collegiate Institute. Well, we may be nearing the end of the school year, but for the hundreds of students who once went here, today felt like starting all over again. New school, new faces, crowded hallways. That's their reality as their once rival school now becomes their temporary home. This morning, the students were greeted at George Harvey with a welcome banner and cake. Donations of school supplies have been pouring in over the weekend. Canadian Tire also donated 500 backpacks to help those whose belongings went up in flames. The whole focus today is on the kids, uh, the George Harvey kids, the York Memo kids, making sure everybody has the right timetables, the right scheduling, so the kids will receive their new timetables today. Classes will begin today. And, you know, there's going to be some bumps along the road. Uh, I know that the extracurriculars, um, a whole bunch of the sports teams are getting together later today to make sure those run. But, you know, it's not easy. There's 900, almost 900 kids coming into the schools. It's been nearly a week since flames tore through this 90-year-old building, and you can see it's still quite an extraordinary sight. If you take a look up at the windows, the glass is just completely shattered, and you can see right through them to the open air because that's where the roof collapsed in. Uh, we're told by Toronto Fire Services that a cause uh, has not yet been determined, and that could actually take uh, weeks, maybe even months before that happens. Though so in the meantime, the school board has been doing its best to ensure that the transition for these students is as easy as possible, but we spoke to a number of them this afternoon, and they say it's tough getting used to the crowded hallways and makeshift classrooms. One of my classes are in the hallway. Like my dance class is in a yeah, like a long dance hallway. Yeah, in the hallway. Mm -hmm. oh, I think our drama class is in a cafeteria. It's, it's stressful to it be was honest super with you. It's quick. It's stressful. It's sad. I know it's just weird, no? Because you just look at your rivals, you know? It's just just weird seeing them around. No? It makes me miss my old school. Like we were in the school for like the last five minutes, and then everything just went down, and then we're here now. Now, many students lost their notes in the blaze. They tell us that they won't be writing exams uh, for this for the remainder of the school year. Their end of year projects will actually account for a larger portion of their grade. Now, as for the long term plan, we asked the school board about that and they said it's still early yet to determine exactly what uh, options they are looking at going forward.